Two staff members have been fired at the County of San Diego's emergency shelter for kids. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. State social workers say there was an immediate risk to the safety of the kids in care. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin uncovered what happened and why everyone who works there has been retrained. This two-page document describes an incident that happened at the Polinsky Children's Center in December of last year. The document, uncovered by ABC 10 News, describes staff at the facility dragging a child by their legs. According to a facility evaluation report from the California Department of Social Services, a video recording from inside the facility showed a youth sitting on the stage in the gym. It says a staff member grabbed them by their arm and pulled a microphone out of their hands. The report says the youth ran off the stage towards staff members and was restrained on the gym floor. According to the report, after a few minutes, staff let go and the youth ran out of the gym and dropped to the ground. The report says staff grabbed them by the legs and dragged them back into the gym. The report says two other staff members were present while another grabbed both of the youth's legs. State social workers say video from the facility showed two different staff members grabbing the child and dragging them. ABC 10 News asked the County of San Diego about the incident. A spokesperson for the county said they didn't have a comment. Is this the kind of county that we want to be, that when we take children away from their biological family and say that we're going to treat them safer and they're going to be safer in our environment, that they actually are less safe. Shane Harris is a local activist and former foster kid. As a child, he spent time at the Polinsky Center. Really brings up a bigger concern of whether Polinsky is actually operational and really doing good for the children that come to the center and whether they're safe. And I think that's really the overarching question uh, when I looked at this recent report here. The Polinsky Children's Center is no stranger to Team 10. This report is the latest in a series of incidents for the county's emergency shelter. State investigations have resulted in at least seven type A citations, the most serious type of violation, and 10 type B violations, a violation that if not corrected could pose a danger. State records don't show a time frame for those violations. However, a Team 10 investigation earlier this year uncovered three safety violations. In those cases, the state cited the Polinsky Center for not providing adequate supervision. They also found a staff member left one of the kids in a closet with the light off. When they were finally let out, the records say the kid was crying. Last year, the state sent a scathing letter to the director of San Diego County's Child Welfare Services. The letter said the Polinsky Center is supposed to be a temporary stay of no more than 10 days. Instead, the letter says youth were staying there much longer. At the time, the county said it was something they addressed. And according to the state, the facility has retrained all staff to no longer use what many believe is a very dangerous form of restraint known as the prone restraint. They've also been trained on crisis communication. Adam Rakusin, Team 10.